Let's say that you're writing some markdown in VS Code and you want to add an image to it. Now VS Code makes this very easy and it can even copy image files into your current workspace so you can reference them correctly. Let's take a look at this. So here's my markdown document and I have a folder over here on my operating system with some images and a video file. Now if I want to add this image file into my current markdown document, all I have to do is go and click and drag from over here. So I'm going over to my operating systems folder and I'm just going to click and drag the image file itself. I'm going to go over to VS Code and then hold down shift to drop it into the current editor. You can see I get a little cursor that's going to tell me where I'm dropping the image file. Once I actually go and drop it, you can see that it's gone and added a, a reference to that image file. But then the other thing that's happened is that it's actually copied that image file into the workspace. So you can see how the cat file here has been added to my current workspace. This can be a great time saver and I really didn't have to do anything. That image file was automatically copied into my workspace. Now, if you prefer using copy and paste instead of drag and drop, that's possible as well. So let's go and undo the current edit. And you can see that by undoing this, it also removed the image file over here in my Explorer. Now, instead of dragging and dropping, I'm going to go and select the image file and copy it. So I'll say Control C or Command C, then go back to VS Code and just paste with Control V or Command V. And now by pasting, you can see that the same text has been inserted. So the image syntax here in Markdown. And then again, my image file has been drawn, uh, created over here in my VS Code Explorer. So it's now part of my VS Code workspace. This feature even works for video files. So let's go and copy the video file over here. So again, I'll say Control C or Contr uh, Command C. Just go and copy that. And then I'll just go and paste. So Control V or Command V. And you can see it's inserted a video file here, and it is now copying that into the workspace as well. So you can see recording.mp4 has showed up in my workspace as well. So that's the introduction to the feature, but let's talk about how you can actually customize it. So I'm going to go and undo these two edits here. So go back and get my document in its original state. Now, if you want to, you can turn this feature off. So let's open up our settings with control comma or command comma on Mac. And we're just going to search for markdown copy. And if we go down here, we're going to find the markdown editor drop copy files into workspace setting. You can see that this is currently turned on for media files. So whenever you drop a media file, such as an image or video that is outside of your workspace into VS Code, it will try copying it into the workspace. It will not try doing this if the file is already part of the workspace. So let's say that I added the cat file over here to my workspace just by dropping it into the Explorer. If I then took the cat file from my Explorer here and dropped it into the current file, notice how it's not going to create a second copy of it because it's already part of my workspace. It's only going to copy files into the workspace if they are not already part of the workspace. So if you really want to, you can go and turn off this behavior just by going and changing the setting here. So markdown editor drop copy files into workspace. You can go and set that to never instead and then files will never automatically be copied into the workspace. And there's a similar setting for file paste. So if you want to uh, disable this behavior on paste, just go and find the markdown editor file paste copy into workspace setting and set that to never. However, if you like this feature, but just want to tweak its behavior, there's a few settings you can use for that. So the one that we're going to look at here is actually the markdown copy files destination. And this lets you control where these files should be created. So you can see that by default, when I go and drag and drop a file into my uh, workspace over here into the markdown file, it will create the image file next to wherever that markdown file was. So here it created it right next to that readme, which is where I was dragging and dropping the cat uh, file here. Using this setting though, we can configure a specific directory where we'd like these files to be created. And you can even get some pretty advanced things going using variables and other things in the destination here. So I'm gonna go back and let's just go get our workspace into a good state. So we only have the readme file here and we'll start configuring the markdown copy file destination setting. Now this setting is a map of document name. So it's the uh, markdown document name to destination paths. And in this case, I'm going to say star star slash star dot MD. So for every single markdown file in my workspace, this is a glob pattern that's going to match everything. I'm going to copy it into the images directory. So I'm going to say slash images, which is always going to go to the root of my workspace. And I'm just going to put a trailing slash there as well so that everything is going to go into that images directory. I'll say, okay. And then go back to my me readme file. Now let's do the same thing. So we're going to go drag and drop from the uh, operating system explorer over into VS Code and hold down shift to insert. And you can see that it has inserted that same image syntax, but it's now put it inside of the image directory here. So if I go and expand my explorer over here, you can see it's created that image directory automatically and put the cat gif inside of that. Again, the location where the image is being created is controlled by the copy files destination setting here. So that's markdown copy files destination. And you can also see that inside the destination, you can use all of these variables as well. So you can get pretty fancy with how the um, image is going to be created and where it should be put inside of your workspace. For example here, so let's go and look at one of these variables. We can do something like document file name. So that is going to be the current file name of the document. Um, so we could go here and instead of putting it into the image file directly, we can say document file name. 
make sure that we have the right syntax for that and get a trailing slash at the end. So now we're going to copy any um, image that is dropped into the workspace into the images directory. And then there's going to be a directory for the current file name, which is the name of the markdown file. And then it's going to go and create the image there. So let's go back here. We'll undo this. And then we're going to go and drag and drop the file over here again, copy it into the workspace. And you can see that it's now created a subdirectory here. If we expand this open um, in the Explorer, it's created a directory called images and then the name of our markdown file. And then it's put the cat gif inside of that. So we really have a lot of control over where these images are going to be created. These same settings also work for pasting. So if I went back here and pasted in my video, so just copy that and then paste this in, whoops. You can see that that video file has also now been created in the correct directory. So we can use this uh, copy file destination setting to control where any of the image files or, or media files are going to be created on either drag and drop or on file paste. So that's a quick look at how VS Code can help you write Markdown by copying media files into your workspace automatically. Give it a try and check out the documentation for more examples and settings that you can configure.